Hi, Yarn and Beast. How are you today? It's me, Sandy. So today, I'm so excited. This month is my month to pick what the project's going to be for the Beautiful 12 Project collab that I'm doing with Miss Hootie Hootenin's Crafts, Jeanette. And uh, everybody, I, I showed um this sweater or different same sweater different style different yarn <laughs> whatever <laughs> i have no words right now <laughs> um and everybody absolutely loved it so i decided to make this my month's project for the be beautiful be beautiful <laughs> be beautiful 12 project collab um that's really hard to say. <laughs> so yeah, so don't let this project scare you. Okay, it's easy. All it is, is double crochets and single crochets and a chain. That's it. So don't be afraid of it. Just do it. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah so if you don't know what i'm talking about i have a playlist down below uh i go over to jeanette's uh channel her channel is linked down below as well miss hootie hootin's crafts and uh see what we've done this thus far um basically what it is is it's a one-year collab that we're doing and we're each picking a month to do a project whether it's a pattern or a tutorial for you guys to do for that month and i can't believe it's already the third month <sighs> wow <laughs> so, anyway okay so what you're going to need is a six weight yarn okay i used the anniversary cake and uh what did I use? A 12 millimeter hook, I believe it was. Um, but go by it, whatever yarn you're using, go by the um, standard hook size for that yarn. You can do this in any weight yarn, believe it or not. It's just, I mean, if you do it in a five weight yarn, you're going to have to chain more uh, to get your sizing. Um, if you're doing it in a four weight, it's going to be really kind of holy <clears throat> and light. So um, you want this sweater to be big and thick and comforting. Okay, so um, a six weight yarn is great or a five weight yarn is great. This is all done by your sizing. There's no stitch count. Uh, well, there, I'm lying. There is a stitch count for these. Okay, it's just multiples of five easy peasy okay um yeah so you just measure out your waist and measure out your chest and you're good to go all right so let's get to it oh p.s i'm going to be posting this pattern twice okay i'm going to be posting it in here and then i'm going to have the actual just the pattern in my tutorial playlist okay so you can see it in both both ways. <laughs> okay. Talk to you later. Hi, you're in a beast. Okay. So, um, get your bulky six weight or your five weight or whatever you're going to use. And let's get started. I'm going to be using the anniversary cake as you saw, and I am going to be using a 12 millimeter hook for this. Um, you don't have to use one that's so big if you don't want to. Uh, if you're using a, a five weight yarn, look at the suggested um, hook size and you can either use that or go up a size. Uh, you'll know it within the first couple of rows how it's going to look and what size hook you're going to want. So um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to do multiples of five plus two. Now I'm going to be doing a foundationless double crochet, uh, but you don't have to. 
I'm going to bring you in. You can do your chains, your 5 plus 2 chains. Okay. And then when you finish your chain, you're going to go back and do um, a double crochet row. Okay. All right. But if you're doing the foundationless double crochet like I am, then this is how you go. Okay, so you're going to put your yarn on your hook. You're going to chain up two. Okay. Yarn over. Go into that first loop. Okay. And pull in, pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through the first loop. Put your finger on this loop here. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, that gives you your double crochet. Now this chain is going to count. Okay, so you're going to yarn over, go into this chain that you had your thumb on, yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through twice, put your finger on that loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That gives you your, your double crochets. Okay, I have a video tutorial on my channel in my playlist that explains this a little more in depth. Okay, but you're just going to keep on going. You're going to go through that loop, pull through once, yarn over, pull through once, Put your finger on that loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay? Okay, now you're going to be counting five plus two. But in this case, if you're doing the foundationless double crochet, you don't have to add the two. Alright? You just do your five, um, your five double crochets. This one will count. Two, three, four, you do one more. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through one. Put your finger on here, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, because there's your so there's your five. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so remember if you're doing just a chain, then it's gonna be five plus two. If you're doing the foundationless double crochet, then it's just multiples of five. Okay, so I will see you when you've gotten, just measure from, from your side to your side, like I said, and figure out how much you need, and then just do your chain to that size. Okay, and I will see you when you get back. Okay, so I'm finished my chains. Okay, now, <clears throat> because I did the foundationless double crochet, I did 50, um, 50 foundationless double crochets. On the other sweater, I did 60, but I'm going to do 50 this time, just to make it a little bit smaller, just in case there's somebody that um, wants it smaller. <clears throat> uh, and don't forget, like if you're just doing the chain first, you're going to count by fives, add two. Okay, because that two is going to be your first double crochet. Then you're going to go back and you're going to do all your double crochets. Okay, and this is what you're going to end up having. Okay, so now what you're going to do is, whoops, you're going to chain up two. And turn your work. Oops, if I don't get my work tangled, that would be great. I'm just going to pull you out a little bit. Okay, now remember this one counts as your first double crochet. Okay, so then you're going to do four more double crochets. So that's one. Two. And I need more yarn. Three. 
three, four. Oh. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. All right. Okay, now you're going to chain up ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now here comes the little tricky part. So I'll bring you in. Whoops. Now if you look down at the bottom of your chain, you're going to have two, oh, here, you're going to have, this is the bottom of your first chain, right? So you're going to go here, and you're going to go under here. Okay, so you've got two strands here. Okay, and that's where you're going to put your hook. You don't yarn over, you're just going to go straight in here. It's kind of hard with the big hook, but you can go through that one and through that one. Okay, and then you're going to pull your yarn through and pull it through the hook. Or pull it through the hook. Pull it, pull it through here. <laughs> Holy cow. Words, Sandy. Words. So then you're going to pull it through. Oh, here, I'll do that again. Okay. Okay. Now. So I, I like to hold this part with my fingers to pull it to the side so it doesn't, it doesn't get in your way. Okay. So you're going to go underneath that loop of the bottom chain and then you're going to go in the loop beside it. Okay, now you're going to have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all three. Okay, and that attaches your loop. Okay, <clears throat> now you're going to do five more double crochets. Now make sure when you're doing this, I'll take that one out, as you're going um, further up, sometimes this chain, this next one will get a little lost. So make sure that you get it into this next one. So that's a double crochet. Next one's a double crochet, so you do five double crochets. Oh my god, here, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and you're going to chain ten again. Your chain off to the side. Okay, you're going to go to the bottom of the chain, put your hook in the first chain, and then go in beside it and put your hook in there. Okay, yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through that top chain. Okay. Okay, now you're going to do five more double crochets. So every fifth chain, or every fifth double crochet, you're going to chain up ten. Okay, and that's going to be your repeat for this row. Okay, So you're doing five more double crochets. Where am I at? One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, chain up 10. Okay, pull your chain over. Go to the bottom of that chain. Go in here. Go into the one beside it. Yarn over, pull through those two, and pull through that top chain. Okay. Okay, then you do five more double crochet. Okay, and you're going to continue this until you get to the end. And when you're done, I will see you there. Now you're going to do your last five double crochet. That's one, two, three, Four, oops. Four. And now you're going to go, what? There isn't another one there. Don't forget, this first one is still a stitch. Okay? So you're going to go to the top of that chain and you're going to, oops, yarn over. You're just going to go to the top of that chain and put in a double crochet there. Okay, all right, now you're going to chain one, turn your work, okay, this one counts, you're going to do single crochets on the way back, okay, so you go in, Pull up a loop and do your single crochet. It's one, two, three, that's four. Because remember this one counts. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take this loop, push it to the back. Okay, push it out of the way. Right at the bottom of this loop, you've got your stitch right in here. Don't miss that stitch. If you end up going and doing your single crochets and you go, oh wait a minute, I've only got four. Nine times out of ten, it's because you've missed this stitch. And it should be right at the bottom of your loop. Right here. Okay, so push that out of the way. Go in, do your single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, and then the other single crochet is going to be on the other side of this loop, right in here. Okay, oops, five. Push your loop out of the way. Make sure that your loops are on the opposite side. Don't, don't push them and have them on this side. Push them backwards. Okay? Don't miss this stitch right at the bottom of this loop. Right here. It's one. Two. Three, four, and there's a big loop here. Five. Push this out of the way. Go in here. One, two, three, four. Five. Push this loop out of the way and go down. Okay, so you're going to continue to do this all the way to the other end. Okay, we're on our last five stitches. Push this out of the way. One, two, three, four. 
more. And again, this one counts. So you go to the top of the chain and come on. There we go. And there you go. Okay? Now you're going to chain up two, turn your work. <laughs> Almost spilled my coffee. Okay, now you're going to do another round of the loop row. Okay? This one counts to go into the next one. Double crochet. One. Do another double crochet. Two. Oops. Three. Now you're going to go, or one, two, three, four, I should say, because this one counts. Okay, now, we're going to be at the bottom of this loop. If you push this loop forward, you're going to see right here, that is where you're going to put in your fifth double crochet. Now you're going to chain ten. You're going to do what you did before. Hold your loop to the side. Go into the top of that chain, or the uh, top of that double crochet. Put your hook in. And put your hook in. Pull yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, and there's your next loop. Okay, so your loops are going to be right on top of each other. Okay. Now, you're going to do five more double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Push this loop forward. There's your next double crochet. That's your fifth one, fifth double crochet. Okay, chain ten. Okay, pull your loop to the side. You're gonna go in. Oops. Go in your first loop, go in your second loop, yarn over, pull through the two, pull through the three. Okay. Go in chain, or uh, do your next double, five double crochet. Push your loop forward and go into that double crochet. Okay. Okay, so this is what it's going to start to look like. Okay. You're going to have your loops on top of each other. Okay. You're going to do this all the way down to the end. Then you're going to chain one. And you're going to do your single crochets all the way across. Make sure you're doing your counting because like I said before, when you are going back and you are doing, and the first one counts, okay, so when you're going back, you're going to make sure that you're not missing these stitches, okay? I don't know how many times I've gone and I've counted and I've realized there's only four Okay, and then you got to pull it out and you got to do it again. Okay, and don't forget when you're doing your single crochet row, push this loop backwards. Okay, 
Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to continue to do the loop row and the single crochet row to the light length that you want it. Okay, um, and so you're going to figure out from your shoulder down to your hips, or if you want it a little bit longer, um, you can do that. Uh, and and then just keep going until you reach the length that you want. And when you're done that, come back and I will continue on. Okay, now I've finished my whole panel, my front panel. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this in a second. I, oh, oops, I missed one. I have... Uh, 19 of these, let's see, 19 of these loops, okay, uh, you, yours will be different, I have to undo this now because I screwed up on, I missed a, missed putting one in, <laughs> you have to be careful when you do this because <clears throat> if you miss one, and then you get it all sewn up, you're kind of screwed. So, I was doing it late at night, so. <laughs> okay, so you've got all these loops. What do you do with them? Well, let me tell you. Okay, let's see, whoops, if I can. All right, so you start at the bottom. You take this loop and this loop put this loop inside that loop and pull. Take this loop, put it inside that loop and pull. Okay, put that one inside that loop and pull and so on and so on and so on. And you just keep doing this until you get to the top And once you get to the top, you will have a braid. Ta-da! Magic. <laughs> okay, so let me just get my loops all done here. Okay, let me finish these. What I did, I suggest that you do is when you finish a, um, a strand of all the loops, put a stitch marker in there and attach it to the this piece so that you don't lose all of your loops. Okay. There. Okay, um, I will finish this one or redo this one and I will be back in a minute. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you end your row on the single crochet row. So you're going to do your last loop row and your last single crochet row. Okay, and then do your, um, your braiding. And then you're going to come back to here, whoops. You're going to chain up two, turn your work, <clears throat> and now all you're going to do is a double crochet row. Okay, so you're going to go into your next one and do a double crochet. And you're going to do this, whoops, all the way across. You're not going to go into the loops or anything now. You're just going to do a straight double crochet row. Okay. Make sure that you're still doing your counting to make sure that you've got the right number. 
So here's your last loop, okay? I'm gonna push that forward and you're gonna go in here just like you did with the loop row, except now you're not gonna chain 10. You're just gonna keep going with your double crochets. Okay. You're just gonna keep on going until you get to the end. <clears throat> All right, and when you're finished that, I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm at the end of this row. I'm sorry if you're gonna hear a dog barking in the background. Um, it's my neighbor's dog. She's outside playing and she's a lab, so she's very mouthy. <laughs> All right, so here we are at the end. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. That looks cool on the back too, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, now you're going to do a single crochet row. This time, you're going to be attaching your Jacob's Ladder, okay? So you're going to go into the next one. You're going to count, make sure that you count. The first one counts, so that's one, two, three, four. And on the fifth one, you're going to undo your Jacob's Ladder. Bring you in a little bit. Undo your Jacob's ladder, pull it up, and go into that fifth chain and grab your Jacob's ladder. Okay, and finish your single crochet. Okay, so now it's attached. Then you do your next five. One, two, three, four, here's your fifth one. So you're going to grab your Jacob's Ladder, undo it, grab your loop, go into your fifth stitch, put your Jacob's Ladder on the hook, and finish your single crochet. Okay. Then do one, two, three, four, undo your Jacob's ladder. Oops. Grab your loop, put your hook in your stitch. Oops. Grab your Jacob's ladder. And finish your single crochet. Okay. And this is what you're going to have. Okay. All of your Jacob's ladders will be attached. Okay. So keep doing this all the way to the end, and I will meet you there. Oh, by the way, just a little food for thought. If you're wondering why these are so big, <clears throat> this is a regular stitch marker and this is the, the ones I'm using. I got these from uh, ho uh, Hobie, uh, Hobie.com, and um, they're, they're really cool. I really like these ones. You get, you know, especially for big projects like this, they work really, really well. Just, just a tip. <laughs> Okay, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end. I just have a couple stitches left to go. Oh, oops, doing singles. Don't forget that very last stitch. You go into it. There. Okay, chain up two. Okay. Now, 
Now you're going to do a double crochet row, row straight across. Alright, just a straight up double crochet row. Okay. Which is really easy. <laughs> kind of mindless. So that's good. All the hard thinking is pretty much done now. Okay, so once we finish doing this double crochet row, then we can start figuring out where we're going to be putting our neckline. And then we start on the back. This is all done in one piece. <coughs> okay. So, oops. So just do your double crochet row and I will meet you when you get back. Okay, so my double crochet row is done. And now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the neckline. Okay, um, I started with 50 foundationless double crochets. I just counted. I have 50 double crochets at the end of this. Uh, so yours, yours is going to be different because your sizing is probably going to be different. But if you are going along with me, <clears throat> with my size, then you should still have 50 double crochet. Okay, half of 50 is 25. So we're going to find, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to find the middle. Okay, so we're going to start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, this should be our middle. Okay, let's count the other side. Don't forget this one counts as a stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25. <coughs> okay, so I was counting the posts, right? I wasn't counting up here, I was counting the posts. So right in here, is your middle. Okay. So now that you've found your middle, now you've got to figure out how wide do you want your neck. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you can you can measure from collarbone to collarbone if you want to. I just kind of guesstimate um, and then I try it on. Okay. So if this is our middle, Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's go with the 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So put it up to my neck. That should be enough. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that should be enough. But check and make sure. Like you'll know once you've done your, your next couple of rows, try it on and see if that's right. If it's not, then make it smaller or bigger or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that might be okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one's should be over here, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So next, what you're going to do is because you ended off on a double crochet row you're going to start your next row as a double crochet row. And you're only going to go as far, where are we, as your first stitch marker. Okay. So, you're going to chain up two. Okay. 
Okay, and then you're going to start doing your double crochets up until that first stitch marker. Okay, so I'm up to my first stitch marker. I have 15 stitches including this chain. Okay, now what you're going to do, you should have, if you're doing my size, you should have 20 stitches from this stitch marker to this stitch marker. Okay, so you're going to chain 20. Then you're going to skip all these stitches and you're going to go right over to your next stitch marker. Okay, make sure that you count these. There should be 15 on this side. Now you're going to count these loops here. Okay, not the posts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so this is your 15th one. Okay, so you want to make sure that you've got the same amount on either side. So you're going to go into, yarn over, you're going to go into that stitch and finish your double crochet. Okay, so there's your neck. All right, now you're going to finish your 15 double crochets or however many you're going to have. <coughs> That's 14, and then the last one is your 15. <coughs> okay. All right, now you're going to chain one. No, you're not. You're going to chain two. Sorry. <clears throat> and now you're going to do another double crochet row, except on this one, you're going to go into all of your chain spaces along here. Okay, so I'm going to get up to the chain and then I'll meet you back. Okay, so I've made it to the end. You're going to put a double crochet into this last chain, or last double crochet. I'm going to get a little bit of yarn here so I'm not fighting with it. Now you're going to go into each one of your chains. There should be 20, or how, however many is going to be on yours. On mine, there's going to be 20. Okay. So you go into there. Okay, <clears throat> and when you get to the end of the chain, you're just going to continue on doing your double crochets all the way to the end, and don't forget this one. Okay, so I will meet you back at the other side. Okay, so we're finished that row. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now make sure the the most important part is to make sure that you have even amounts on either side and that you go into each chain. <clears throat> excuse me, each chain on here because it will equal the same amount that you have here. Okay, so I had I had 15 on one side, 15 on the other side, and 20 in the middle. Okay, so make sure that your count is right. <clears throat> okay, you can take these stitch markers out now. Now for the rest of this sweater part, it's going to be easy peasy. Okay, 
And don't forget when you're counting your stitches to count that very last stitch on either side. Okay, the chain. Count that as a stitch. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Oh my goodness. <coughs> okay, now you've done your first double crochet row on this side. Okay. Now you're going to start doing chain up one. Now all you're going to do for the back of the sweater, <coughs> if you fold this over, here's your neck, you're going to fold it over and you're going to say, okay, I did a double crochet row, single crochet row, double crochet row, single, uh, single crochet row. And that's what you did all the way along the front of the um, the back, the front of the sweater, it's just in the front of the sweater you had these Jacob's Ladders. You're not going to do that in the back. So each row is just going to be double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, all the way down until you have the same amount that you had on the front. Okay? And that's going to be it, like for the, for the back. All right, so you go ahead and do that and do it all the way down until you match up the bottom, okay? And then on the very bottom, we remember we did a foundationless double crochet row and then we did a double crochet row. So take that into consideration, okay, when you finish the bottom, okay? All right, so I will see you when the back of my sweater is finished. Okay, so now you should have your front and your back done. What I did was on the bottom, uh, I did a row, the last row was, um, double crochet a double crochet row just like it is on the front okay so you count all your rows make sure that everything's all good and then what you're going to do is you're going to lay it all out you're going to put stitch markers up the sides and figure out your armholes okay uh <clears throat> I did mine just a little bit big, but that's okay. Because I'm not going to be doing anything with it yet. Okay. But figure out where your armholes are and then try it on. And make sure that everything fits and everything's good. But most importantly, figure out where this part lands on your arm or if it goes right to your shoulder because you're going to need to know that for when you make your sleeve. Okay, because if you make your sleeve as long as your arm, if you measure your, your arm and your, you say, okay, I need, say, um, 14 inches for my arm, and then you go to put it on here, and this is already off the shoulder, then you're going to have, your sleeve is going to be way too long. Okay, so figure that out first. And then you start on your sleeve. Okay, I'm just putting my, I, I've done one sleeve on mine already, but I will do the other sleeve with you. <clears throat> okay, so this is how big my sleeve is. It's pretty, pretty short, actually. It's, uh, what are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think there was like nineteen rows or something. <clears throat> but what I did was half double crochets, just to make the holes a little bit tighter. Um. So. Yeah. So you're going to start doing this, and then you're going to keep checking. You're going to keep putting on your sweater and putting this side this side up to where your shoulder is on your oops on your sweater 
Okay, so you're going to put it up to your shoulder. Figure out where it lays on your arm. And then you've got to figure out how much of a cuff you want too. Okay, so I want like a pretty long cuff. So you can have just a, a couple rows for a cuff or you can have like a big cuff like I'm going to have. Or, you know, the sky's the limit on that. So yeah, you're going to keep trying it on. Just keep doing your sleeve and then keep putting it up to your sweater and seeing where it lays. Okay, so let's get started on the sleeve. Okay, so you have an op the option to go down a hook size or two if you want to, but for the sake of um, the video, I'm just gonna stay with my 12 millimeter hook. Okay, so I figured out um, or what you're going to do is you're going to, oops, I'll put you out, bring you out. What you're going to do is you're going to, um, measure around your bicep. You're going to flex your bicep and you're going to measure around it to see how big, big it is. Mine's about 14 inches. So, um, I figured out for 14 inches, I figured out that I was going to need 25 half double crochets. Uh, so you are going to chain as however big your bicep is you're going to chain that that amount uh, but don't forget that your chain your when you do a couple of rows that's probably going to stretch out a little bit maybe an inch so you got to take that into consideration as well okay uh, if you want it a little tighter don't do quite so many chains okay uh, I find that it this this is perfect for me because then it gives me a little extra room for if I've got a shirt on or whatever. Sorry, there's a train going by. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a foundationless half double crochet row. Okay, you don't have to. You can do your chain and then go back and do your half double crochets. Okay. Uh, so I'll bring you in a little bit. Okay, so uh, if you're doing the same as me, the foundationless half double crochets, you're going to chain three. You're going to yarn over, you're going to go in that first chain. You're going to pull up your loop. You're going to go and pull up another loop. You're going to put your finger on here. And you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, yarn over, go in that loop that you've got your finger on. Oops, I need my yarn. I'm stepping on my yarn. You're going to yarn over, you're going to go through once, go through twice, go through all three. Okay, I'm going to go through that loop again, yarn up once. Yarn up twice, put your finger on that loop, go through all three. Okay, and that gives you your half double crochets. Okay, so you're going to do this for as many as you need. And then you're going to put it around your bicep and you're going to make sure that it's right. Okay, so I will be back when I am finish my row. Okay, so I've got my 25. All right, so now... I'm just going to show this to you. Okay, so here's my here's my string, like, and I'm putting my measuring tape up to this. Okay. Now you're going to notice that. Oops. Let's try that. It's only gone gone up to 13. Okay, and I said my bicep is 14. That's because it's going to grow. Okay. So this was perfect. All right. Okay. So now you're going to chain up two. You're going to turn your work and you're going to start doing your half double crochets. And that's all you're going to do for your sleeve. 
you're just going to keep doing your half double crochets. Yarn over, go in your first stitch, yarn over, pull through all three. I'm sure you know how to do half double crochet. Okay, half double crochet. Now you're going to want to count all of these stitches, okay? Because, like I said, this counts, right? One, two, three, four, five, twenty-three, twenty-four, and now you're going to go into that next loop, right? Okay, you're just going to make your hole in there and make your 25th or however many you're going to have. Okay, then you're going to turn your work and you're just going to keep doing your double crochets all the way down until you reach the length that you want. Okay, now remember, tr keep trying on your sweater, keep putting it up to the shoulder line and seeing how far down it goes, okay? Um, and then once you, once you get it to that point, we're gonna stop, we're gonna tie off our yarn, okay? And then I will come back and I will show you what to do next. Um, so now what you're gonna do with your sweater, excuse my feet, but what you're gonna do with your sweater is you're going to put the right side facing down and the wrong side facing up. And you're gonna have it laid out flat and you're gonna take your sleeves and you're going to find the middle. I don't know if I'm in the camera, I can't see. You're gonna find the middle of your sleeve and you're gonna put a stitch marker there. If you wanna count them, you can. So we'll just say it's there. Okay. Then you're going to take your sleeve and you're going to put it down here. Okay. Here's your neck, neckline. Okay. And you're going to match up the middle of your sleeve to that neckline. Okay. And then you're going to put stitch markers all the way across and you're going to do that on both of your sweater or both of your sleeves okay and then as soon as i do that i'll come back okay so i have both of my arms um attached so now what you're going to do is you're going to do um whether it's a whip stitch or whatever you decide to do, you're going to attach the top of your sleeve to your sweater, okay? And just, you know, um, make sure that it's in the middle of the sleeve and then just do a, a stitch of some sort and just go up the tops of the sleeves. Okay, now that you've got your arms attached here, you're going to flip your sweater inside out and line it all up. And put your sleeves together like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to stitch up the side of your sweater and the arm all in one swoop. Can you guys see that? I can't see what you can see on the camera. <clears throat> and then you're gonna do the other side. Make sure that your sweater is inside out. I've done that many times. It's frustrating. <laughs> so yeah, so just do that. And then we are almost done. Okay, so now we're gonna do the collar. 
and I just I just have stitch markers in there because so I thought I have an idea but then I figured it's not going to work so I might as well just take these out <laughs> so okay so now you grab your yarn this is really easy we're just going to do a turtleneck now if you don't want a turtleneck on your sweater you can just do like a couple rows of front post back post um, on your sweater but I'm going to do a big turtleneck so I like to start on this on the side and we're just gonna put our hook in there I got the sun coming in here so I'm a little bit blind at the moment so I'm kind of going by feel <laughs> okay so you're going to attach your yarn you can just put it in any one of these stitches okay I'm going to chain up two okay and then we're just going to go in between or in each stitch just doing a double crochet okay oh, minus the cat hair okay just do double crochets actually you know what no I gotta do half double crochets just to close it up a little bit more. <clears throat> okay. So you just do half double crochet, half double crochet, all the way around until you get to the other side. Oops, my ball's running away from me. Just keep on going all the way around your neckline until you get here, and I'll meet you there. So I'm all the way to the other side. You're just going to slip stitch into the first chain. Okay, you're going to chain up two. You're going to turn your work, which is kind of difficult to do because there's a lot here. Okay. Now this is a <clears throat> excuse me. This is a side that's going to be showing when you fold it over. So I am going to do half double crochets in the back loop. Okay, so you just I'll bring you in. You just go in between. If you're looking at it, go in between. and do your half double crochet okay <clears throat> it's not a lot of room here <laughs> okay turn it over go in between and do your half double crochet okay oops between do you have double crochet okay and it's going to give you that cool ridge okay so keep on doing that all the way around till you get to the other side and this will also help with that fault line when you when you're um, attaching your your yarn or your stitches together this fault line that sometimes goes off to the side or whatever it's going to keep it straight okay so just keep on going yep and I'll see you when you get to the other side. 
Okay, so now you're going to attach to the first chain. Chain up two and turn your work. Oh. <laughs> okay, now you're just going to do another half double crochet row. And that's going to be the two row repeat that you're going to do. You're going to do your half double crochet row, turn your work, then do your half double crochet in the back loop row and so on and so on until you get your neckline to the length that you want it. Okay, so I have finished my collar. I did two, four, six, seven rows. Okay, um, you can do longer, but you have to start watching now how, many, how much you have on your um, left of your skein because you're going to need enough to do your cuffs. Okay, so this is where it starts to get a little touchy and touch and go because you're not going to have a whole lot left um, after doing this. So, okay, so now let's get on to our cuffs. Here's your cuff. Now you can do this a couple ways. If you don't want to have like an actual cuff, you can do like a, um, uh, what do you call it? Crab stitch around here just to finish it off or single crochets or something like that just to finish it off. But I am going to do a cuff. So... I forgot my crochet hook. Hang on. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, now I'm going to jump down to a size 8 hook. You can go down even smaller than that if you want. Um, it's all dependent on how, um, how tight you want your cuff. Okay. So you're just going to... This is the seam right here to the underside of your arm. I'm just going to pick a stitch right along that seam there and tie on your yarn. You're going to chain up two. Okay, I got a couple of ends here that I'm going to weave in. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go into each stitch for the next four stitches. Okay, and you're going to do a half double crochet. That's one. Oops, I missed my end that I was going to weave in. Okay, let's try that again. One, two, three, four, and on the fifth one, you're going to do a decrease. Okay. So you're going to knot yarn over. You're going to go into the next one, pull up your yarn, go into the next one, pull up your yarn. You're going to have three on the hook, or three loops on the hook, and you're going to pull through all three. Okay. Now you're going to go into the next four and do your half double crochets. One, two, three, four. You're going to go into the next one and do a decrease. <clears throat> so you put your hook in without yarning over, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, 
pull up a loop, you'll have three on your hook, pull through all three. Okay, and you're going to con keep continuing this. Do next half double crochet in the next four stitches. And then you're going to do a decrease. Ugh. Sweater's big now. <laughs> okay, go into your stitch, pull up a loop, go into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Do half double crochet in the next four. And then do a decrease. Oops, that would be my hair. <laughs> okay, now I'm at the end of my um, my round, my row, round. <laughs> I'm going to go into the third stitch from the third stitch from the hook. No, you're going to go to the top of your chain and slip stitch. You're going to chain up two. Okay. Oh, move my sweater around here. Okay, now you're going to go in and you're just going to do double crochets, or double crochets, half double crochets. Nope, sorry. We're going to do double crochets. Holy cow, Sandy, get it together. Double crochets all the way around. Now you're going to want to count and see how many before you start doing that. Okay. Count how many stitches you've got. Okay. Um, and count your decrease as one stitch. And then write it down because you're going to need to know that for your other sleeve. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, whoops, 20, 21, oops. Okay, so I have 21 years. It's probably going to be different or not. Okay, oops, slip stitch here. Chain up two. Okay, now where's my pen? So 21 half double crochets. I'm writing that down. Okay. Now you're going to do your double crochets all the way around. Okay, you're not going to go into this stitch because that's already this stitch. You're just going into the next stitch and doing your double crochets. And make sure that you count these two. Okay, you're going to do that all the way around count them, write it down, and uh, I'll be back when you're done. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so what you're going to need is an odd number of stitches going around. You're not counting this one. Okay, so you're going to need an odd, sti uh, odd stitch count. Um, and this one is, when you're doing your next rows, it's going to be front posts and back posts. This stitch, I say this in all my sweater tutorials, this chain is going to count as a back post, but you're not going to work it. It'll automatically sink to the back. Okay, so this next one is going to be a front post double crochet. Okay, so if you're counting all the way around, front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post, all the way around, you're going to end on a front post. Okay, 
because that one will be your back post. And when it goes together, this will sink to the back. These two here will pop to the front and it'll work out perfectly. Okay, so, oops. Let's attach it to this chain, the slip stitch. You're gonna chain up two. Okay, now remember, don't work this one. Okay, this one's unworked. You're gonna go to the next one. You're gonna do a front post, double crochet. I'm going to assume that you already know how to do one. Okay, the next one's going to be a back post, double crochet, you're going to go in behind, go over top of that stitch, pull your yarn through, go through two, go through two. The next one's going to be a front post, double crochet, Next one is a back post, double crochet, and you're going to keep, oops, I'm trying to do this while I'm looking through the camera. Um, you're going to keep on doing this until you get to the end. Okay, and remember, when you get to the end, where's my end? Here it is. This end post is going, it's supposed to be a front post. Okay, so I will see you when you finish that round. Okay, I'm at the end of my round. Here is my unworked post, and here is my first chain. Just going to skip over that and oops, and slip stitch into the top of that chain, and chain up two. Okay, now you're going to start seeing. That one's going to sink in, okay? So now all you're going to do is keep doing this all the way around until you get your cuff to the length that you want it. First one's a front post. Next one's a back post. Okay, so you're going to keep on going. And then make sure that on every round, this is an unworked post. Okay, you don't even touch it. You just slip stitch into the top of the chain and just leave it alone. And then it always starts on a front post and it ends on a back, on a front post. Okay? Okay. So keep on going. Do both cuffs exactly the same way, and I will see you when you're done. Okay, so your sweater's done. Yay! What I did on the bottom was I did a row of half double crochets just to finish it off. That's it. And the rest of it, you already know. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, if you have any questions, go to my Facebook page and ask me on there or email me at crochetacanada at gmail.com and I will answer whatever I can. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I would love to see pictures of what you made. So go post that in my Facebook page too. Okay. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. I love you all. Bye.